During his five years as China's president, Xi Jinping has overseen an era of increased assertiveness and authoritarianism. Well, today, with the confidence of a man who is in full control at home, he is casting his eyes overseas. Speaking at the Communist Party Congress, President Xi unveiled a vision for a new era where China takes center stage in the world. Let's take you to Beijing. Watching the speech for us was our correspondent John Sudworth. Uh, John, what does this new era look like, according to President Xi? Well, we've heard some of it before, of course, Lucy. There are few surprises in these set-piece uh, set speeches at the heart of set-piece events. But essentially, what we heard today was Xi Jinping outline his vision for national rejuvenation, uh, echoing uh, this idea about the Chinese dream, lifting Chinese people to higher levels of prosperity as China rises as a peaceful global superpower. The rain wasn't the greatest of omens. The Communist Party is meant to be able to control the weather. But inside, nothing could be allowed to dampen the mood. In a speech tinged with nationalism, Xi Jinping struck an optimistic tone and insisted that only the Communist Party could fulfill China's rightful destiny. Let's strive hard to build a wealthy society, achieve the victory of Chinese socialism, realize the Chinese dream of the great rejuvenation, and fulfill people's expectations for a better life. While state media carries wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the Congress, the rest of China largely carries on as normal. I have no problem with a rising powerful China, this man tells me. But he adds, I hope one day we too can have democracy. For many, the event is an inconvenience. For days now, Beijing has been in security overdrive, with surveillance stepped up and neighborhood patrols sent out in force. There was once a hope that Mr. Xi would be a political reformer. Instead, he spent his first term in office clamping down on dissent and purging his rivals. And so the world's biggest authoritarian state is confirming its leader in office for another five years. But for China, watchers, the interest is not in the system, of course, but the man, seen by many to be accruing more power to himself than any leader since Chairman Mao. At three and a half hours, this was a humdinger of a speech. Even Mr Xi's predecessor, Hu Jintao, touching his watch, appears to signal it could have been, well, a tad shorter. Despite the length, though, you don't have to look hard for the main message. The world's second largest economy will remain firmly under the command of a one-party state. And if anyone had any lingering doubts, Mr Xi has surely now swept them away. John, what can we expect from the rest of the Congress then? Well, uh, you know, as, as, as we've spoken about already, Lucy, no surprises. Uh, but, um, you know, there are things uh, in the detail that people will be looking at in the hope that they can glean something about uh, the exact measure of power that Mr Xi now wields. So, for example, there's discussion about amending the party constitution uh, to include uh, reference uh, to him in person in connection to his thought or theory. That would be a, a, a massive elevation of his stature and, of course, uh, would be a, a way of signalling to his rivals that um, internal rivals, of course, who, who, of, of whom we, we get no, no sight, but signalling nonetheless to anybody who was thinking of challenging him in any way uh, that uh, uh, he now has the full backing of history, the party and the weight of the constitution behind him. The other thing, of course, is his selection of uh, his top leadership team, the Politburo Standing Committee that will be unveiled next week. And in those choices, people again will be trying to weigh up what that means for the next five years and exactly what it tells us about how tight uh, this man's grip is on power. And it matters, of course, because 
China is such an important economy, the world's second largest, and who wields the power and in what measure is, of course, a crucially important question. Yeah, John, will we get any more detail on President Xi's economic plans, particularly how he plans to deal with China's debt? Uh, there will be discussion uh, through some of the committee meetings. Uh, there's a, 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 a meetings of uh, finance committees through, through the week. Uh, and, of course, some of those things will be discussed. Uh, but don't forget, this is a party congress. And the preoccupation here is the party itself consolidating its grip on power. And one uh, sort of interesting detail, uh, if you like, to give you a sense again of uh, how even the coverage of this congress is so carefully monitored and controlled by China. Uh, the broadcasting of uh, the package that viewers have just seen, um, my report from the Cong Congress, is being blacked out here for viewers in China. Interesting detail, John. Thank you so much. Uh, John's report being blacked